Welcome to this edition of Leading Experts. Leading Experts is informative and exciting. Leading Experts interviews authors, speakers, and entrepreneurs in all areas of business, so you become a much more informed consumer. Hello and thank you for watching. I'm your host, Grayson Foster, and welcome to this very special edition of Leading Experts. Our next guest has been seen on major news media around the world talking about financial issues that affect every one of us. He went from growing up on welfare to semi-retiring at age 32, and he claims that anyone can create financial success for themselves using simple techniques which are not being taught in this country. He's with us today to discuss his book, Why Didn't Anyone Teach Me This? The financial information you should have got in school to ensure your prosperity in today's economy. Let's welcome David Newby to the show. Mm. David, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be with you. I'm so excited to have you here because this is a topic that I really don't know a whole lot about. Mm -hmm. So very happy to have you here. Okay, well, first of all, you're not a financial planner. You're not a PhD. You don't have any formal training or schooling in finance. So why should people listen to you about money? Why people should listen to me is because of my experience and my results. Right. Those are not only my results. Those are also the results of countless of my readers. I grew up on welfare. My wife and my mother, my brother and I, excuse me, mm -hmm. grew up on $503 a month. Wow. And I was able to go from that beginning to semi-retiring at age 32. Mm -hmm. Amazing. How I did that was over a seven year period, I traveled around the world, spoke to thousands of people. I talked to everyone from poor people on the street to multimillionaires and a few billionaires as well. Okay. And I discovered that there are a few basic secrets to financial success that most people simply aren't taught. And I took all of this information that I had to spend several hundred thousand dollars traveling the world to learn and condensed it down into one simple, easy to read, step-by-step -step formula in my book. Awesome, I know, I'm, I'm very excited to get to this book and you're not getting this back by the way, I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> okay, with how much wealth there is in America, why do you think so many people watching are experiencing financial stress and struggles and everybody it seems that I talk to has massive amounts of credit card debt, everybody is struggling. That is true. It, it's really scary that in America, the richest country in the world, so few people retire wealthy. Mm -hmm. Since the 1950s, when our government began tracking these statistics, nine out of 10 Americans retire broke. Wow. And there are people that are dying to come to this country every year. Right. I, when I was a child, I was a missionary in the Philippines. and. People there, when I was a kid, lived on $20 a month on average. I even met children my own age who had been sold for food. So wow. That's very you, have, you have that kind of a situation that people are dying to come here to America. At the same time, most of us retire broke. Yeah. And it hasn't changed in the last 50 years. Right. And the reason that, why that is is because we simply are not taught the basic principles of financial success. We're not taught it in school, and we're not taught it in our homes. Whether you grew up poor like I did on welfare, okay. or whether you grew up with wealthy parents, in most households in America today, parents do not speak with their children about money. It's oftentimes a taboo subject in many households still. Yes, that's true. And in school, we are taught many great important things. We are taught all kinds of things we need as adults, but at the same time, we are also taught a lot of things we never use. Mm -hmm. I would have to say probably 90% of what I learned in high school I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. But every single person uses money. Right. And we use money every single day, and it's a real shame that we're not taught more about money. So if you grew up not knowing about money, not being taught by your parents or taught in school, the good news is it's really not your fault, and these principles can be learned at any age or no matter where you are financially right now. Uh, I'd like to give you one example. I actually met a gentleman who made over a million dollars a year, mm -hmm. and he had nothing to show for it. And that is simply because he was never taught anywhere how to manage his money. Right. Was it just a problem of overspending or it was the result of, you know, a lot of different issues? 
It was a lot of issues, but it really begins with just the fact that we aren't taught these things. We learn things from society and from other people, right. and we hear things about money from our parents, but in terms of being taught principles of financial success, hardly anyone is taught that by their parents. It's a very, very small percentage of the population. So what do you recommend that people do right now to turn their lives around financially? Well, the first thing that you should do to turn your life around financially is realize that everything in our life begins with thought. Mm -hmm. Our thoughts lead to our actions, and our actions produce our results. Mm -hmm. There are many people on TV saying, do this to make money, or do that to make money, but a lot of, oftentimes they overlook a key critical component, which is looking at limiting thinking that is holding you back. I'll give you a couple simple examples. Okay. The first example would be, most Americans believe that a million dollars is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. If I were to ask you, is a millionaire rich? You would likely say yes. Right. Well, the fact of the matter is that right now the average middle class American needs two to four million dollars just to retire maintaining their middle class lifestyle. Right. So that right there is a limiting belief. Mm -hmm. A second limiting belief is that rich people are greedy or that rich people are dishonest. Mm -hmm. So let me give you a quick scenario here and how these two thoughts tie together. Okay. If you believe that a million dollars is a lot of money and someone with a million dollars is rich and you don't want to be thought of as greedy or dishonest, you will likely never have a million dollar net worth. You will never be able to retire maintaining your basic middle class lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And that is a situation that most people are in right now. Their thinking is stopping them from taking the actions necessary to get the financial results that they want in life. And the great thing is you can learn new ways of thinking about money. You don't have to be stuck with the existing thinking that you have. In fact, in my book on page 24 of the book, I give you a practical exercise to identify, first of all, your personal limiting beliefs that are holding you back, and secondly, I show you how you can create a new way of thinking about money that empowers you to achieve the results that you want. And the great news is this technique has been used by over 30 million people in the last 35 years. So you are a huge proponent of the fact that our thoughts create our actions. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You have to begin with your thoughts. If you don't work on that, mm -hmm. you're oftentimes going to fail at everything that you do. Mm -hmm. I would agree with you on that one. What about people watching? What can they do right now to make sure that they don't end up broke, as you say, like most people do? Yes, we actually have a lot of, a whole generation mm -hmm. of baby boomers that are just beginning to retire right now. Yes. And it's important more than ever that people protect what they already have before they focus on creating more money for themselves. Mm -hmm. You cannot overlook this step, it's critical. A couple of things that are vital to protect for every single American are you need to protect yourself from lawsuits, and secondly, protect your home equity. I'll begin with lawsuits. Mm -hmm. In America, we are the most sue-happy country in, in the whole world. Mm -hmm. On average, according to government statistics, you have a three in five chance of being sued in the next 10 years. And if you own a business, that number is even higher. Mm -hmm. Why this is important is in the next 20 years, if you live in America, you statistically will be sued. And the average American is not protecting themselves from lawsuits. Uh, when an attorney looks to sue someone, they look for someone who is an easy target. Mm -hmm. And people who own everything in their own personal names are the easiest target. So the first thing that you want to do to protect yourself is get things out of your personal name. That is very key, and I give you a simple technique in the book that you can use to do that. The second thing that you want to protect yourself mm -hmm. from is uh, you want to protect your home equity. According to the federal government, 61% of Americans have the majority of their wealth in their home equity. Okay. That's more than you have in your stock portfolio, your mutual funds, your 401k, everything else, your savings account, everything else combined. That's a very staggering number. Mm -hmm. What most people don't realize is that your home equity is not safe and you generally do not have access to it. I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, safety. In the last two years, we've had Hurricane Katrina, where thousands of people lost almost all of their home equity, and there are thousands more waiting, still waiting for their checks right now from their homeowner's insurance company. Last year, we also had flooding in Texas, we had flooding in New York, and we had flooding in Ohio. I personally met a lady last summer from Ohio whose, ho whose basement was flooded. And some people just down the street from her, their whole home was flooded, and they lost all the money in their home because they did not have flood insurance on their homeowner's insurance program. Mm -hmm. And most people do not have flood protection. 
So it's very vital that you protect your home equity for the purpose of safety. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you want to have access to your own money. I'll give you an example. Um, on page 76 of my book, I tell the story of a gentleman who called me and wanted to refinance his house. He had over $100,000 of equity in his house. Okay. And sadly, I could not help him refinance the house. He was one payment behind on his mortgage. And for that reason, I couldn't help him get a loan. This was even when it was easy to get a loan a couple of years ago. And the sad result of that was a few months later, he lost the home to foreclosure. He lost that whole $100,000 and his credit was ruined. So if he would have simply given himself access to his own money before he needed it, mm -hmm. he would have not lost his house and he would have not ruined his credit. And it's very easy for you to protect your money and get access to it. On page 77 of my book, I give you a simple technique to protect most of, if not all, of your home equity. These strategies sound very simple to implement, and it's amazing to me that someone watching can make up to a million dollars just by taking, you know, using a couple of your small steps to do that. So I, I know you have an offer that you want to you wanna give to the people watching right now. What is that offer? Yes, correct. Um, the great news is just by protecting what you already have, protecting mm -hmm. yourself from lawsuits, protecting your home equity, and protecting your retirement funds, you can create an extra one to four million dollars for retirement. That can mean the difference between not being able to retire at all right. or retiring in comfort. Nice. So I'd like to share who the book is for. If you are someone who is not really sure why you always seem to struggle with money and you'd like to figure out the right mindset to develop in order to be successful financially, if you have a lot of money in your home right now and you think that it may not be safe and you'd like to have access to it, if you are nowhere near a million or two million dollars that you need to retire comfortably or you would just like to retire more comfortably than you think you're going to be able to right now, this book is for you. If you're a business owner or you'd like to start a business and you don't know how to start, if you're a business owner and you are currently using your personal money or you're using the equity in your home to fund your business, it is vital that you get my book. Now you can get the book at any bookstore across America. It's available at Amazon, it's available at Borders, Barnes & Noble, etc. But for you watching today, I have a special limited time offer for you as a TV viewer. I have this offer for you because I like to reward those who take fast action to empower themselves. If you will call the phone number that you see below or go to the website special link that we have below, I have two amazing bonuses for you today. First of all, I'm going to give you a free 30-day trial to my Prosperity Power group coaching call. And on that call, you can actually call in and listen to the latest cutting-edge strategies that I have available for you to empower your life financially. Secondly, I will be sending you last month's call absolutely free. That will be an audio recording on a CD as well as a transcript of the call. So whether you would like to read it in the comfort of your home or listen to it in your car or the stereo or on your iPod, you have the choice of doing either one. That's a risk-free free trial you can cancel at any time. The second bonus that I have for you today as a TV viewer is when you get the book and you, when you get the book and you call and order now, once you buy one copy at the regular retail price, we will send you as many copies as you would like additional absolutely free. Just simply pay the shipping and handling. So if you'd like to get a copy for a friend or a relative or someone that you care about that you would like to help protect their money, you are welcome to do so. And lastly, and perhaps most importantly, this is a total risk-free offer. You have 30 days to review the book, review the information, see if it's for you. If it's not, you can return the book and we will refund your money. And for every book that I sell through this offer, I am giving $1 for every book sold to microfinance groups around the world. So when you're buying the book, you're not only empowering yourself financially, but you're also helping someone in a third world country to start their own business and empower their family. David, so let's talk a little bit about the idea of paying off your house as soon as possible. I mean, for me, I thought that was the ultimate goal that we're all supposed to do, right? That's not the case. It was, that whole idea actually came from the 1930s during the Depression. Back then, banks got very, very tight on money. Mm -hmm. and it was perfectly legal for them to come to you as an American homeowner and tell you, you have 30 days to pay your house off or we're taking it. And that's what they did. Thousands of Americans lost their homes to the banks because it was perfectly legal to, legal to do that back then, hmm. and banks needed the money. 
here we are 70 years later, banks cannot take your money away from you just because they want to. Right. And what Americans started doing in the 30s is paying their house off as soon as possible to protect themselves. And today people are still doing that. Mm -hmm. we're, we're playing the money game with the 1930s rule book. Hmm. And you know you would never want to play a, a sports contest, for instance, against a modern team playing with some 1930s playbooks. You would you would likely get killed, right? Right. So it's very vital financially the same way to make sure that you're using modern techniques as far as managing your home equity. In fact, the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago released a report in fall 2005 which stated that Americans are throwing away over one billion dollars of home equity every year simply by mismanaging their home equity. Hmm. One lady who read my book, uh, she's a lady from California, she and her husband had over 90 percent of their total net worth in their home, in the equity in their home, and their house was just spared the fires in California several months ago. Okay. After reading the book, she was able to refinance the house and, start and protect it and have access to it, and now she's actually safely earning a little bit of a rate of return with the house, much like the Federal Reserve suggested that we as Americans should do. So once someone protects what they have and they're gonna cover their assets and make sure that that's all okay, how, how do you create wealth so that you know that you're going to have enough money to retire on? once you get to that point? So I get very excited talking about this. The easiest way to create more wealth okay. for the average American is to simply earn a higher return on investment with their money. We have been taught in the traditional world to put our money into mutual funds, to buy into the stock market, and we're conditioned to accept that 10% a year is a really good rate of return to receive. Right. Well, as I said earlier, traditional wisdom leaves nine out of ten of us broke at retirement. So as an alternative way of thinking about investing, what if you could earn a higher return on investment than 10 percent a year? In, in the traditional world, it's just not heard of that commonly because if you have a 401k, you have to put the money basically into mutual funds. You don't have a lot of choices. Mm -hmm. If you want to do something outside the ordinary, what the average person does is they go and they get a course on buying stocks or buying options and they start to trade. And this is actually the worst thing that you can do is start to do something on your own. The reason why is, whereas the average person in mutual funds earns about 8 to 9 percent a year return, mm -hmm. the average person who picks individual mutual funds, like last year's best performing mutual fund, mm -hmm. or they pick individual stocks, right. they average a 1 to 2 percent return per year. Okay. So if you want to do something outside the ordinary, it's very important to join a winning team. Don't go it alone and just do whatever you think is the best thing to do. I'll give you an example. Okay. Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player of all time. Very few people dispute that. Mm -hmm. If Michael Jordan was playing all by himself against the whole Detroit Pistons basketball team, mm -hmm. he would lose every time. Yeah. No matter how talented you are, an individual will always be beat by an organized team every single time. It's the same way in investing. It's important to join a winning team. Now, I have a really amazing team member on my financial team that I'm going to share with you in a moment. Okay. But before I do, I want to show you the power of compound interest. Okay. Albert Einstein, pretty, probably the greatest genius that's ever lived, said that compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. Let me show you the difference between making 10% a year on your money and possibly making 20% a year. Let's say that you're 40 years old right now and you want to retire in the next 20 years. If your money is making you 10% a year, your money is going to grow, f it's going to double three times. And that's according to the rule of 72. It'll double three times, so go from 100 to 200, 200 to 400,000, and 400 to 800,000. Okay. So if you have it in a tax-free or tax-deferred vehicle, like a 401k or an IRA, it's much better to have it in a Roth 401k or a Roth IRA. As long as you're paying no taxes along the way, your 100 will grow to 800,000. Hmm. So that won't help you retire, right? You need two to four million dollars to retire middle class. Right. If you can earn 20% a year on that money, it will double six times, and your $100,000 will grow to $6.4 million. What, say that again, that, that was a really <laughs> important point. Say that one more time. If you make 10% a year yeah. on $100,000, okay. invested over the next 20 years, and you want to retire in 20 years, at 10% a year, your money will grow to 800000 Right. Cannot retire. Mm -mm. At 20% a year, your money will grow to $6.4 million. That's the difference between not being able to retire at all yes. or retiring in style. 
Amazing, wow. So I'd like to share with you uh, a really amazing teammate that I have on my financial team, and he has agreed to give you a special bonus item simply as one of my readers. I am acquainted with one of the best retired financial planners in America for over 20 years. He was in the top 1% of all financial planners every single year, and he is a great stock picker. Well, he's a retired financial planner now, but I have arranged a special bonus for you when you go to his website, which I have for you in the book, and they're actually in the resource section of my website for the book, the book buyers, he is going to give you special opportunities that he gives to no one else. And that's simply for you as one of my readers. So make sure that you tell him that you came from me and you'll get some real inside access information. That's what I call being a leverage master, leveraging someone else's time and someone else's expertise. And you have an opportunity today to leverage one of my dream team members and put them on your team and put them to work for you really. That's great, David. So there are ways that people can safely earn more money than what the stock market averages so that they can retire comfortably. But now what would you say to somebody who wants to retire before the age of 65? If someone wants to retire early like I did, yeah. the best thing to do is to start a business or, or go get into investments that pay passive income. Mm -hmm. Most of the successful people that I have met almost every single one has started a business of some sort. It's the easiest way in America to create passive income streams for yourself. And at the beginning, although you are having to work in your business, it is possible with, with the right systems to within three to five years automate your business so that it pays you money every single month whether you work or not. Mm -hmm. One of my readers actually read the book, was inspired, it's a gentleman named Julius from the Philippines, mm -hmm. and he started his own internet company in the Philippines, and it's only about four months old now, and he's already earning passive income from that business. And that's in the Philippines where it's much harder to start a business. Exactly. So every single American can get out there form their own business, mm -hmm. and create passive income for themselves. It's the best country in the world to do that. So where can people get your book? Well, as I stated earlier, people can get the book anywhere. They can get it at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Borders, any bookstore. Okay. And I want to say again, if you're not sure whether my book is for you or not, let me make it really easy. Okay. If you, if you are a homeowner who is sick and tired of the uncertainty of wondering if your money is safe. If you are a business owner and you're currently using your personal money to fund your business or you'd like additional money to, to form your business without hurting your credit rating, if you want to start a business and you don't know where to begin, I actually inside the book give you an exercise to determine the best business for you to get started. There are a lot of people telling you to do real estate or to do foreclosures or to invest in multi-level marketing companies. And most of those people are involved in those things or have a course to help you do those things. I think it's imperative that you do whatever makes sense for you. What involves what you're good at? What involves your best passions? That is vital if you want to have happiness and true prosperity in your life, to, to create wealth in a vehicle that inspires you. If you just do not seem to get ahead, no matter what you do, and you want to figure out the correct mindset to attract wealth, and make sure that you are comfortable and your family is comfortable, this book is for you. So as a special offer for you today as one of my television viewers, because again, I like to reward those who take fast action to empower themselves, I have two special bonus offers for you. And these gifts add up to a total of over $80 value. The first gift is I'm going to give you a free 30-day trial to my Prosperity Power group coaching call. This is a call that you can come on once a month and join me live where I'll be sharing the latest cutting edge strategies for your finances to apply today. I also take live calls from people in the audience, so I may be speaking with you soon about your personal financial situation. I'm also going to send you last month's copy of the call in a written transcript in an audio CD. So whether you'd rather read it in your house or in the comfort of your office or you'd like to listen to it in the car or on your iPod, you can get that information any way that's most convenient for you. Those two things right there are over a $79 value. You can cancel your subscription in the group coaching call at any time. The second gift that I have for you is when you call the phone number below or go to the website below, when you order one copy of the book at the retail price, I will give you as many copies as you would like 
absolutely free to give to your friends, family members, or someone that you care about. And all you have to do is pay the shipping and handling on that. Lastly, this offer is completely risk-free to you. You have 30 days to read the book, see if the information makes sense for you. If it doesn't, send it back. We'll refund your money, no problem. And last but not least, and this may be most importantly, every, for every book that I sell to you, when you make an investment in empowering yourself, you're not only empowering yourself, I'm also giving a dollar for every book that I sell to microfinance organizations that give small business loans to people in the third world countries who cannot qualify for a loan traditionally. So you're not only helping yourself and your family, you can be helping someone else around the world. Based on what David shared with us today, it sounds like you may be putting hundreds of thousands of dollars at risk right now or potentially losing out on your chance at a comfortable retirement. Pick up that phone and get a fresh copy of Why Didn't Anyone Teach Me This? Again, every time we have David on the show, we have an unprecedented response. So if you're calling the lines, they may be busy, but continue to call. There are trained representatives that will be available to answer all of your questions. I believe this is the only place you can get the information. So call or go to the website right now to get your hands on this information. It can change your life. David, thank you so much for being on the show today. My pleasure. It's great to be with you. Wonderful. Thanks for watching this edition of Leading Experts, everybody. I'm Grayson Foster, and we'll see you next time. Before I learned David's newbie's uh, system, I was tied up in uh, cash in my business. And uh, after uh, reading his books and his materials, I was able to raise some business money, over uh, 420000 in the last 10 months or so. And it does not show enough in my business uh, personal credit. David Newby has taught me how I can use the equity from my home to be able to protect my investment of my home and be able to create great wealth that I may be able to live a successful life. I had a IRA that was not performing uh, for 2004, 2005. I actually lost money. I met David Newby, got some information, and um, for 2006, I made uh, a 50% annualized return um, backed by real estate. I highly recommend David Newby and um, keep investing.